All right, we got some new harps in the mail. We got some, I believe, or Monaka from Donovo. Let's see. We'll just, we'll just destroy this box. Yeah, I am excited for these. None of these I will be keeping for myself. I have enough Donovo harps. I have enough Monarch in my collection. Let's just, oh. Dude, look at them strings. Let's take a look, see what we got. I don't even remember how many I ordered. I don't remember what notes. I'm not quite certain. Let's just see what's in. Oh, a big one. That one is heavy. Let's take a gander. Oh, that's going to make a nice thumbnail. Got a cool case for these. Let's look at the smallest one, the little, the wee fella. And I will be listing the, all these in the link in the description below. So let's just go ahead and get these on wrap. See what we got here. Big, beefy frames. I see high levels of polish, nice recurve trigger. The gaps are, are tight. I'll have to hold them up to light to be able to see. It's a good looking, very beefy one up. I'm not certain the note. The note is not noted on it. And this little fella here. Oh, dude. There's one without a, uh, without a trigger loop. I love that. Let's look at some of these others. I'm going to try to keep them with their original cases. Oh, that's a cool shape. Look at that feller there. Some holes in it too. Oh, that is cool looking. Case that one. Well, this one. I love the patterns on the string. It's almost like a shoestring material or shoelace. A lot heftier than the ones I've seen in the past. There's a cool maker's mark on there too. Oh yeah, he left the, the evidence of the forge on there. It's, you can feel a little bit of the forge. Oh, there's that maker's mark again. Don't drop the mud hard. Working with a different camera angle today. Got a new tripod, so. Oh, I like these cases. Look at that. Cool card. Here's one with a little bit longer. Okay, let's get these Monarch checked out. Now, I'm going to be keeping these in the order I play them. We're going to call them one, two, three, four, five, six, if anybody's interested in them. I've been waiting for a while to get a shipment of Dernovoy, and this is the first time I've ever gotten, I think, this many, six of them. See, one with a little bit longer of a frame on one side. Pretty tight gaps, especially tight toward the end. Good compression, a little bit of a gap in consistency toward the beginning. Let's see what the sound is on this. Let's see what it sounds like. Get my oils and everything here near us. A little bit of fuzz, a, a nice fuzz that I can work with. Now, I'm not going to play these outward. I don't test play Monarp outward. I don't do it. And somebody told me that, but I've never, I've never tested to see if Monarp do break more often than other harps when played outward. I think it's going to be dependent probably upon the reed material. So I don't know. Oh, and here's this, here's this little teeny one with the tall recurve trigger. I think... This might be the one he made untuned for me. I don't remember. I don't, I don't even remember the conversation. I order harps and then, you know, time later I get harps. Uh, 
Very tight gaps. This is going to be a higher pitched one, I bet. Very pleasing springiness, but very, very flexible because we're looking at a very thin reed up toward the tip. And it feels like, similar to the Drimba he sent me, I see some bluing there, some evidence of tempering, of heat treating. Um, it feels kind of like that Drimba. Oh, that's different. A bit different of construction. Instead of being raised there, looks almost like Maranzano. It's got that kind of, it's got kind of a Drimba feel. Especially in the trigger, the feel of the trigger. And Dernovo is from Ukraine, I believe. So he's going to have strong influence with the Drimba. I like that it's got a fuzz, but it's got this touch of meditative value. I really dig. I, I don't know. I might keep that one. I, I shouldn't keep any more harps. I've got, I've got plenty of harps. Then we got this massive one. Look at this thing. It's a thing is big. It's probably one of the heavier monarp I felt. Big beefy frame. Mm. <clears throat> what are you? You're more mid-rangey. Beautiful, beautiful tone. Listen to that bell ring. I'm gonna pluck it out with just for yeah, perfect. Beautiful. I'm not going to play that one anymore. I don't think that needs any more demonstrating. No, I don't know if the microphone's going to pick up that, but that is that is a bell ring that I search for in harps. Pull these up. What are you? Another big beefy one, the one with the holes in the frame. And I can't tell you the notes because off the top of my head, I don't know them. I need to have a tuner set up. Yeah, cool holes in the frame. But how are the gap? Oh, those gaps are tight. Pretty tight, especially nearing the end. There are some inconsistencies approaching this area, but I don't think that's going to affect play at all. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Probably the most subdued volume of all of them, but the really good clarity. Yeah, they, uh, each one of these Monharp, it feels like a person. They each have their own, their own characteristic, their own personality. Dernovoi, thank you so much for sending these, dude. These are, these are killer. Let's try this one. Let's see, another beefy frame, not as big as the second one, or nearly as beefy, or as massive as the third one. See how how do you play? Yeah, I like that. Another super clear one. Just killer alignment. Got one more. And I'm going to be keeping these in the order that they are. We have another one with a little bit longer of a frame. I've seen some Norwegian Monarp, like the uh, Iverson, that have a lot of the times one arm longer. It's cool. They just left that on there. That's probably the exact way it came out in the for when they forged it and they just left it and let it, let this heart be itself. These are hefty, hefty monarch. Has that other mark that looks like a person. 
Ooh. <laughs> oh, man, dude. killer um if anybody's interested in them i'm going to post links in the description below so if you're on a cell phone um you might have to hit the little thing that's shaped like a downward arrow to pull up the description or you can just go to the rarities and unboxings page on the harbury.com if they're no longer up um they probably also like harps like this don't normally uh, tend to stick around because rarely if ever do i am i able to get Dernovoy, especially more than one or two. So anyways, we're going to wrap it up with that. Be good to each other. Make, your, make sure your harps are clean. Keep your harps dry. Keep them oiled. Harp out. I love y'all. Adios.